clause. Order by clause will help you to organize your data in ascending or descending order. So order by clause of the select statement is used to sort record. The order by clause determines the order in which rows are returned in a result set. The order by clause must include the order by keywords and at least one column name or column alias. So if you include more than one column, a comma must separate them. By default for each column in order by clause, records are sorted in ascending order. So by default, ASC keyword is taking. If you're not passing, it will take ascending order. If you want in a descending order, just say DSC. So it will go in a descending order and display all the records in descending order, right? So I can say increasing and decreasing order here. So this is syntax order by, order by definitions. And you can just say ascending and descending column name. And uh, you can see this command here, select customer ID and all from customer order by last name. So it will arrange the ascending order last name. Here we are saying order by store ID and last name. You can notice here I am using order by after from, right? So from clause, you have to be careful. Or after where clause you can use. Now you can see here uh, it is saying that select Sorting by column position instead of column name. So we are passing here column position here. Order by fourth column ascending order and third column descending order. So that is what here we are having four and three, right? If you can see order by rental rate, ascending order, rating, descending order, title, ascending order, right? So we are passing the column name. So you can pass either column name or column number. What is alias here? You can see here uh, from film as FL. So FL is the alias for film and then we are saying FL dot title as film title, FL dot rating as film rating, right? From this table where FL dot film ID, this one. So the column names and the table name can be followed by an optional as sub clause that allow you to assign an alias to these names. Okay. This help you to greater extent if you are using some join kind of things. Okay. Uh, next we have to understand the distinct. So selecting distinct record, select distinct rating from fill. So whatever the ratings are duplicates that will be eliminated. Select con six distinct customer ID. So how many customer ID? It will display you as a customer con. So distinct just extract the or eliminate the duplicate records. Okay. Next is the limit. The limit clause is used most effectively in select a statement when it is used with an order by clause. The limit clause takes two arguments using limit in combination with order by or allows us to construct a list of the top in. So I can say limit five. So top five will display. If I say limit 10, top 10 will display like that. Okay. So using limit in a combination with order by allow us to construct a list of the top n, which means the first n, the best, the worst, the oldest, or the most useless or meaningful rows in a target data set, right? So that we can use here. If you can see some example here, select last name, first name, email from customer limit five. So five rows will display, right? Code explanation, it is there you can write something 
let us say you writing order by rating descending or then you are saying title and then you are saying limit five so i want first five rows okay i just demonstrate this whatever we have seen now so null we have checked and we can see order by clause let us say i just say here select a star from cells right and since all these are the same so let us come to item table now item tab so here i have right now i will say yes select a star from item and i say limit three records only right so it is just displaying first three records right but if i do like this select item and i say order by price so display in the price order by so 10 180 180 280 380 it's ordering the price right if i say here desc descending order so top values displaying uh, top 380 280 180 like that but if i say i just want three rows only so i can say limit three right so only three records will be displaying here first three first top three uh, records will display okay now i just remove this all and i just say select a star from item so now I want to see what are the price actually we are having. So if I say here, select price from item. Okay, one column will be display here. But I don't want the repeated one like 180, 180 is coming twice, right? So what I can do here, I can write here distinct, distinct. So what is happening that 180 has been eliminated right so if you think that there are some duplication is happening or let us come to the sales table now we are having sales table select a star from sales table here some record has been item id is repeating here right so i want to just see what are the item has been sold so what i'll do here i'll just write here item id so it is repeating one three three five five right but what i will do if i write here distinct item id so it is just saying one three five so only this three item is uh keep selling right okay so i hope you understood this like distinct order by and where clause and all let us have a more example with the condition now i have a select star from item this is a select star from item suppose okay now i want to find i just say here select a star from item where item description like P percent what I mean I want to find the items whose description start with P P percent means start letter P after that any characters okay I want to find the items where first letter I don't know so you just give underscore and second letter again i don't know so again another underscore but third letter i know it is r and after that any number of characters so only two records are matching here park and perfume right so p r k p r so third letter is a r here 
so by that way you can make a pattern and you can find the any kind of data so underscore will represent 0 or 1 characters percent represent more than 1 characters okay so let us try another one now I want to display the item whose quantity on hand is between 10 and 50 so only three items right if I just say reverse not between 10 and 50 so it is saying 59 and 69 is the not in between 10 and 50 so you have understood how to use like operator how to use between and operator right you can use less than greater than all you can use with the where clause here so I can say where greater than 50 okay less than 50 will display so less than 50 means 40 is displaying here so these are the conditions we can apply with the where clause and we can retrieve the records